In this video, we'll check out the loopback function of our Personas audio interface and universal control. So for example, we can use loopback to record the audio of say a YouTube video or any other media player you might have on your computer, like a Windows Media Player or VOC or whatever it happens to be. And then we can record that into another audio application. Okay, so this is for Windows only. So if you happen to have Mac, you're gonna have to use a different application. Okay, so of course what we can do, uh, we have a couple different options. We can merge loopback with one, two. Let's look at it real quick here. So here's our loopback. Right now it's set to off. We can do a virtual and that's gonna give us a dedicated set of inputs that we can use. And then we have mix one and two, and that's going to mix the input of whatever you have plugged into one and two on the front uh, with that output of one and two that's gonna come back around and be recorded back in, okay? So there's a quick diagram of that, and then a quick diagram of the dedicated loop back. We're gonna look at it here. And also very, very important, I wanna say this up top, make sure you select outputs three and four or you know just different outputs uh, in the audio application in which we are recording two, otherwise we're gonna get a feedback loop, which we'll, we'll look at. So first thing we need to do, of course, here in universal control, and I'm using a Studio 1824C, First thing, of course, is let's set this to say virtual, okay? Say what we want to do in this case is record, we'll just say the audio from this YouTube video or some of the audio from this YouTube video into, in this case, Pro Tools, but it could be Studio One or FL Studio or whatever, uh, whatever the case may be, all right? So go ahead and set that to virtual in this case. We can open up UC Surface while we're at it uh, just to take a look at that. If I come over here in Pro Tools and I set my input to virtual one and two, we're not quite done yet because if I start playing back dynamic microphone, it has a frequency okay. response of 50 hertz to 20 not getting and a any input yet. Of Put that on pause. So what you need to do is make sure you set your audio interface, your Personas audio interface as the playback engine for Windows. So we obviously have the Personas as our playback engine for Pro Tools, okay, as you can see right there but we also need Windows to be using our Personas audio interface. So a couple ways you can do this. We can left click right on the speaker icon. You can see right now I have that set to my uh, computer speakers. Expand this and I can just choose one and two. If you prefer, you can right click, go to sounds, come up here to playback and make sure you have that enabled. So just find, in our case, it would be line out one, two. Okay, find that, right click it, make sure it's enabled. If it's not, go ahead and enable it and you can set it as default. And as I've mentioned before, I always like to come in here to properties, advanced, and I like to set this to 24 bit 48K, all right? So once that's done, and we make sure we set this, I'll just do it like this, make sure we set this as the playback source for Windows, which of course is different, okay, from the playback source for Pro Tools. Now what I can do, again, make sure this is virtual. Once again, let's check our universal control. It's virtual right there. If I play back, here, dollars for this epic and come back here. Section of the you can see we're actually getting the, the input of that Andrew video Allen. from over Pro Tools, the input other. monitor, and guess what? Right the there. Once again, I'm gonna Seamlessly between play back the, the video so we're getting audio. Of these on the input monitor, the you can see the, the audio the coming in, the and it's just gonna start clipping out the right there because it's feeding back. So pause that. Make sure we change this to some other output, okay? We'll just say three and four. Very good. So now I monitor that. We're right, gonna play back the video, getting the input. So if there's audio that we want, just find wherever it happens to be in the video in this case. So let's go ahead and record, mute that one there. Go ahead and start recording. Play back the video. Iron. The gentleman after they the had video entered, want. brought fire to heat And right the there, we're the getting gates. the audio. Now you can also do mix one and two. And for that, instead of using Pro Tools, why don't we look at uh, say OBS or something like that. So I'll pull OBS over here. Let's minimize Pro Tools for now. Let's come here to mix one and two, just as an example. So right now I actually don't have to have this as my playback engine for Windows if I don't want to. You can, but you don't, you know, you don't necessarily have to. So I could set this on my speakers just again as an example. And let's make sure we set up an audio capture. We already have one right here. So I could just change this one or you can always come over here and just create another one. But I'll go to audio capture. 
Let's go to properties. And right now it's set on virtual, but what we want is one and two. Okay. Because we have that again, right here, mix one and two. So what this is going to do is this going to take the audio that's coming into our studio 1824C in this case, uh, channels one and two, and it's going to mix that with whatever audio is coming through our 1824C. So you can see the microphone right there. It's a mono source. But if I come into Pro Tools and say playback this track here, let's turn it down a little bit. And we check in OBS. Now we're getting that input directly into OBS in this case. And it works the same way, by the way, for, uh, for Streamlabs. All right. So same exact thing. So that's another way you could take audio from Pro Tools and get it directly into OBS. And I have a few other videos showing how using the FL Studio driver or Voice Meter Banana or even using two audio interfaces to get audio from Pro Tools or Studio One into OBS or Streamlabs. Well, this is yet another way by using that loop back function. And by the way, you don't have to have the input be uh, mix one and two, but I just want you to understand that if it is mix one and two, okay, then those first two inputs, one and two on your physical interface, will be recorded together with whatever is coming out of outputs one and two of your 1824C. Does that make sense? So I can show it real quick here. If I change the outputs of this here, track to three and four, and then I play back, right? Then we look in OBS, guess what? We're not getting that input. We're just getting the microphone. So again, stop playback uh, here in Pro Tools. Let's change this back to one and two, playback again. And OBS, right there's the input of that. So that's an easy way to record and stream, you know, whatever's going on in Pro Tools or whatever ASIO DAW you have and record that directly into OBS without the need for, you know, the FL Studio driver or, or other virtual cables or other audio interfaces. You can do it all with your Personas audio interface, which is it's pretty cool, actually. Now, another thing you could do, because we switched this back to our speakers, right? for our computer audio, which is not a problem with OBS. And I don't, I don't want to make this an OBS tutorial necessarily. So because we have a desktop audio capture, that's using our default interface, which again is our real tech. That means if I play back a video, my test one, two, it's going to be recorded. Right here. We put that on pause. It's going to be recorded right here in the desktop audio track. Okay. Instead of being recorded up here. All right. So just a, you know, a thing to understand. Let's switch this back to virtual because there's a lot of things you can do with this. So that's the virtual right there. So now I uh, play back in Pro Tools, for example. I'm not going to get anything in here right now, right? Because we have to switch this over here to virtual. Very good. So now I play back here in Pro Tools. And guess what? We're getting that audio right there into OBS again. Now you'll notice. So I'm speaking, if I look up UC Surface, we still have that microphone connected right here, right? So we're not getting that in OBS now because we're using the virtual input. Not a problem. There's a lot of things you can do in OBS or in Pro Tools or you know whatever. I'm just trying to show you the, the routing. So don't think this is specific to OBS or Streamlabs. It could be Skype or a webcam program or whatever you, know, whatever you uh, happen to be doing. So right here would be the input in this case for, let's just say, you know, Pro Tools or something right? We could always create another audio input capture here. I could name it Mike. Okay. And I could then set the input of this to be say microphone one. So the mic one, two, and now we have the microphone down here. Of course, in this case, I would probably want to find this and down mix that to mono. Okay. So now you can see that microphone is coming in here separately from our Pro Tools stream. So now if we recorded that, and by the way, we still have the uh, computer audio. So YouTube or VLC media player, whatever, that audio is going to be coming through the desktop. So I play that back, turn it down a bit. See, now we have three different sources. Is this. All right. So that can be helpful as well. If you want to record something in OBS and have different streams of audio, that you can then go into, you know, Media Composer or Premiere or whatever, and then edit all of those audio streams separately to sort of, you know, level things out. And of course, if you're doing that, make sure you come in here, Advanced Audio Properties, and come in here and make sure you select the proper tracks to record. 
So if you're streaming at the same time, you'd want everything going out one because the way streaming works is streaming only takes that first audio stream. It's not going to take multiple tracks, right? If you're streaming, go ahead and select one for everything and then come through here and I would untick everything. And I'd say audio input capture, record that one on two, record this one on three, and record that one on four. Okay, so then I'd have separate tracks recorded for my editing purposes. And I'd also have a sort of a stereo bus right here, just in case I wanted to use that, or of course I wanted to uh, stream at the same time. Okay, and just real quick, again, this is not really about OBS, but uh, a lot of people will be using it. Make sure you come in here to output and recording whenever you do this, and make sure you have the audio tracks selected to actually record because if you don't have them selected in here you're going to end up with whatever you happen to have checked you know if i just have one selected i'm just going to get that one that one track actually recorded whereas over here in streaming it's just going to do just audio track one or you know whichever one that you happen to select so that is using our loop back function of universal control and our personas studio audio interface